Good morning, uh, Trev here. I'm just in Grove. I'm going to Grove Fields Park Run, which is um, starts near the rugby club, and um, I'm just approaching it from the rugby club side. And they ask you to park if you're parking at Fitzwarren School, but I'm visiting my friend James afterwards, so that's why I've parked um, this side. But um, yeah, dogs are allowed. It's a, um, it's a lovely park when I've done it maybe two or three times, I think. And um, while I remember, do check out my um, vlog of the four Oxford park runs so you can have a look at that and a review as well. Um, okay, let's see if we can make a little jog towards it. <clears throat> okay, so this is the rugby club. There's also today um, a truck sort of festival, which I'm gonna go to afterwards. So I'll show you a little bit of that as well. Okay. Okay, so this is the, the rugby club. Um, with some old cars, they're just setting up. So normally the, um, the course goes behind this tree line and around this field up here. And I think it's normally sort of a two lap course, but today I'm told they're gonna do an alternate course so as not to interfere with the, the event. It looks like quite a big event. This is free as well. And I, I believe it's on tomorrow as well. So if you're, if you're local to Grove, um, do come down. So Grove is near, near Wantage, sort of south. Oxfordshire so I don't know I'll see if I can um, try and get all of the Oxfordshire park runs that's a big big challenge but I've done all the ones in Oxford so maybe all the ones in Oxfordshire so a few a few classic cars already but we'll have a look at them later okay so we can see a few park run signs looks like they're going to use this um, I think this is an old canal or brook I think um, and going up and down there <laughs> and then a few laps of a field probably start seems there so it's very different today let's just see <laughs> okay so normally just the starts there oh yeah there we are there's our welcome flag um, Maybe I'm the first person here. So it's sort of like um, half past eight. So I'm imagining they're still doing set up. Maybe let's just have a little look around this tree line and see. So it's very green from what I remember. We're going sort of through kind of woody bits, maybe up and down a brook. Oh, there are a few people. And, um, oh yes, there we go. So there's the, there's the start. I'm not sure if that's the correct start and the other one it was maybe in the wrong place and this meadow from what I remember we ran round a couple of times looks like the finish funnel <laughs> look at that the finish very wild finish funnel <laughs> in the middle of a, 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 a meadow and uh, these are probably stopping you go through here so yeah, I definitely don't know what's going to happen in terms of the course, but there's definitely a start and there's definitely a finish. So I, re I reckon in the past, you sort of run round this field, maybe run round it twice or something like that, but um, <clears throat> dogs are allowed on this course, one dog per person. Quite nice. I might go through there and just get a little photo. But there's the setup. So yeah, there's definitely some park runners just starting, getting getting settled. Don't normally do this. Reverse funnel. <coughs> in about an hour or so, we'll be finishing. Oh. 
Okay, so you just saw the first time as brief. It looks like the alternative course is two laps of this meadow and then two laps of a, another field and then you run down the canal path and then maybe you do it again and then you do half a lap of the meadow field and then you're finished. So <laughs> I will blatantly just follow the person in front of me. Also looks like there's tea and coffee facilities. I, I don't think I, they were there last time. Um, so we will see if that happens afterwards. So welcome on a um, let me first uh, go through a couple of things. Uh, milestones. Is anybody prepared? You've got a milestone there prepared for the next exercise. We also welcome uh, from the Auckland. So, a particular thank you to them for, for being here. And of course, to all those who travel, whatever this is, it's been dramatic. So, uh, thank you for that. Um, you'll run back up behind me, about as far as you can see, where you'll be directed onto the canal towpath. You'll go along that and you'll be directed off it. And at the, then you'll do two clockwise laps of a field on the recreation ground. After that, you'll come back along the canal, back down here back into this field, you go the other way round for half a lap to the far end and you come back into the finishing funnel from the far end. So there's a half lap here not to be forgotten at the end. Okay. So <laughs> the summary is two clockwise laps here, two clockwise laps of the bigger rec field, half a lap anti-clockwise here. Two, two, and a half. Okay. Right. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Marshall. Thank you, Marshall. <laughs> Good morning, thank you. Thank you. Lap two. So normally, I think this field would be at the end of the run and you'd run it the other way around. But yeah, alternative course, <clears throat> a little bit confusing to explain, but I think it's actually quite simple. Two laps of this field along the canal path, two laps of the rugby field and then back and then you do the last bit sort of around this field. So not done this route before, I'm assuming quite a lot of people haven't. Alternative courses seem to always be backwards <laughs> for some reason. So I start in similar places but go the other way. saying along the canal path there's some tree roots which they've kind of marked <laughs> thank you tail walker In fact, someone just asked if I was filming the whole thing and I was like, well, normally I just film the first lap, but it's a little bit hard to do that here. Give the two laps of a field and then a straight and then two laps and then a straight. So it's not a straight repeat. I was hoping to go left here. Damn. <laughs> I was hoping to go that way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As long as you're not first, you can always just follow someone pretty much. Thank you. Okay. This seems like the normal start, perhaps. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Marshall.
Thank you, Marshall. Yeah, yeah. Harrison. Thank you. It's like icing. But yeah, very well done to just remind us there's some little trips. You can see them setting up still the, the car event. Classic cars and motorbikes and looks like a whole festival. And yeah, shout out to Nick, my friend from school. Apparently he's the chair of White Horse Harriers and running Snowden half tomorrow. So he's, he's here he's doing a little little jog. Didn't know this was his local one, but we get some people camping. So canal path, it used to be a canal, disused now, you can see there's barely any water in it, certainly no boats. Whoa, look at that, okay. Thank you. So twice round the rugby field. Wow. And we have got a new junior park run here, or near here, called Kings Grove which is the new housing estate, which I think is just across from here. I can point it out when we go past. So, Grove Business Park. Over there, there used to be a, um, an aeroplane, but it's fallen over. <laughs> Some stormy, stormy weather. And this, yeah, this park, park runs um, fairly new too. I can't remember thinking of the top two year region. <sighs> yeah, sort of over there is King's Grave and the new housing estate which is very very nicely done and I guess to have a junior park run in the new housing estate even um, before it's sort of been finished is quite a good way to get people sort of engaged in that new area They do ask people not to park at the health centre when they come to this. So there's plenty of sort of little parking points. Um, but the school, the Fitzwarren School, is where they recommend. Buggy friendly.
So as I remember, the normal route would go into this part or possibly possibly not that field, but it's quite a big a big place to rugby club. I think normally where this marshal is you'd go left and maybe just do two laps. So <laughs> she's doing a good job stopping us. <laughs> Thank you, Marshall. Supporters. Not sure if he's doing his last lap. Nice, nice sign there. Up two straight ahead. So that's that's us. Finish to the left. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this lap. So this time we go left. Thank you. Thank you. And they've done a really good job. Yeah, marking these. I think if it's wet, if it's just flower, it might be harder to see, but just be careful running down this. They're not too, they're not too bumpy if you know they're there. I remember actually Race to the Stones, which was five years ago, falling, it was 100k, falling um, on the first sort of 20k, I think, over something a bit like that, and then grazed my, well, wall up my knee and my arm. And I did carry on, I sort of like calmed down, but um, this one particularly, look at that, you wouldn't want to run too fast over that. Thank you. Hello. A little bit of water still, but yeah, not very much. Well Thank you. Probably the finisher, first finisher coming back. So we're not far away. Thank you, Marshall. And that one. Yeah, so there are a few that are substantial. Just be careful down the canal path. Well done, just follow the path. Thank you. 
so Marshall's doing a great job just keeping everyone safe. Thank you. Thank you, Marshall. <laughs> and apparently the, the guides, I think, are doing the teas and coffees, so it's not a normal, normal tea and coffee thing, but we'll go and support that as well. It is on the rugby site ground, but I don't know if there's facilities there normally on a Saturday morning. <laughs> you turn. Thank you. It's quite nice to finish in the middle. Thank you very much. I wonder if they've moaned that, moaned that little bit in the middle just for park run, possibly. So this is our half loop of the meadow at the end. Someone's taking their top off. It's very humid, very humid today. Looks like there's a little buggy race. Thank you. The final stretch. You were taking on the last bit. <laughs> I've done a few sprint finishes in my life, but maybe not today. <laughs> Thank you, Marshall. Keep moving through the funnel. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Well done. Thank you. Okay, I've just scanned my barcode. And there we are, just gonna go and get a tea from the, from the guides. Motorbikes. Have you ever been on a motorbike? No, no I've never, never had that. On a boat. <laughs> There's quite a lot of stalls and fresh boats today, which is amazing.
One of those tyres. <laughs> we put a pipe out, we just put a pipe from here, same, you know, air filter to give it a bit of a, a bit of heat. Concrete, all of these trucks. Quite strange, yeah, to have <laughs> coronavirus on the side of a truck. You want to get some of it, it looks a bit like that. Square on. Time. <laughs> <laughs>